We are past the halfway mark of our 12 teams in 12 day series as we preview the Richmond Spiders today. I'm Bobby Broyles here along with Rob Washburn. A tough season for the Spiders in 2018, but we're able to finish the season on a positive note and take some momentum into the offseason with a win over their longtime rivals, William & Mary. Yeah, it was a very disappointing year for a Richmond program that's used to contending for conference championships and playoff bursts, but a rash of injuries and too many mistakes led to a 4-7 and seven mark. Now, as you mentioned, the Spiders closed this season with that strong performance and a victory at William & Mary, and they have made numerous changes in the offseason. This is a team that's extremely motivated to get things turned around and return to the top of the conference. Six starters are back for a Richmond offense that was hurt by turnovers and struggled to move the ball on the ground. How can the Spiders improve in 2019? You know, Richmond actually ranked third in the CA in total offense last season with nearly 374 yards per game, but they were often their own worst enemy by committing a league-high 27 turnovers, including 18 interceptions. The only position group that will be similar to last season is the offensive line, where four starters are back, led by juniors Tim Coleman and Siom Setapani. The Spiders' running game should be much improved with the return of former starter Xavier Goodall from a knee injury and the addition of redshirt freshman Aaron Dykes, who showed his potential as a runner and returner in four games a year ago. Now, quarterback returnees Joe Mancuso and Reed Chenault will battle with Air Force transfer Bo English for the starting job with all three providing the ability to run as well as throw. Whoever wins the job will have an entirely new set of receivers to throw to. Northwestern transfer Charlie Fessler and Duke transfer Keishon Fuller are expected to make an immediate impact, and the Spiders are also looking to redshirt freshmen Justin Jasper and Isaac Brown. Coach Huseman talked about his pair of FBS transfer wide receivers. Here is what he had to say. Well, we had Charlie Fessler, wide receiver from Northwestern, and, and, and Charlie came to us mid, mid year, so he was here in the spring. Coming off, he had three catches in the Big Ten championship game. Uh, so we were really excited about getting him. I think he, we probably wouldn't have got him if he wouldn't have been a mid-year guy. He graduated in December from Northwestern. You know, if he went through spring in this process, we, he, he probably don't get him. What a tremendous addition to this team, not only as a player, but as a person, as a leader. Um, you know, he, he, this is an example of Charlie. You know, he we had... Uh, I can't remember, we had him for spring practice and he was going home for a summer for a little bit before he came back for summer school and, and he texted me and said, Coach, thank you so much for bringing me to the University of Richmond. I appreciate this opportunity. Um, I love it at Richmond. For him to do that, you know, says a lot about him. You know, the other guy we didn't have in the spring, but another wide out is Keaston Fuller and uh, he looks great uh, movement wise. We think he can take the top off defenses, he can run. On the other side of the ball, Rob, this team defensively looks to be a force in 2019, led by preseason defensive player of the year, Maurice Jackson. Yeah, eight starters are back for Richmond defensively, and there is no question that the strength of the unit is on the defensive line. Maurice Jackson developed into one of the top defensive ends in FCS last season, recording a league-high 10 sacks, 15 tackles for loss, and four forced fumbles. He's joined up front by junior tackle Colby Ritten, who recorded eight tackles for loss a year ago, and junior end Darius Reynolds, who made a team-high 11 quarterback Curries. At linebacker, senior Billy Coghill finished second on the team with 74 tackles in 2018. Now, all four starters return in the secondary, led by senior Daniel Jones, who recorded a team best 86 stops and three interceptions, and senior Trent Williams is also back at the safety spot. Marcus Vinson and Noah Nicholson are the returners at cornerback, but they will be challenged by Duke transfer Brandon Feemster and junior transfer Roland Williams. Here is Coach Huseman on his expectations for the defense heading into this season. Yeah, we're going to be better on defense. That's one of the, the commitments that we made. We're going to run the ball better, we're going to be better on defense, and we're not turning it over. So, yes, we will be better. And there's going to be some competition. We've got three out of the four back up front who are three really good players with another defensive end that played a lot and a defensive tackle. So we feel good about that spot. Linebackers, we think we're pretty athletic there. Secondary is going to be fun to watch because you know, we have Marcus Vinson started for us last year and Noah Nicholson, but we brought in two, we brought a junior college kid in and a transfer from Duke. So that competition is going to be fun to watch. They're going to have to work every day to earn a spot, to be on the field. So I think we'll get better. We weren't great in the secondary. We were really good. Daniel Jones had a great year at, at strong safety and Trent Williams had a really good year at free safety. But, uh, you know, we weren't as good as we needed to be. 
you know, on the edge. We got great kids, and, and I love Noah and Marcus, but we needed some competition, and we just really, you know, we didn't have we didn't have competition. So they better come ready to compete. The guys we brought in better come ready to compete, and and we'll, we'll put the two best guys out there. A lot of talent brought in and a lot of new faces on both sides of the ball for the Spiders going into 2019. What will be three things we should watch out for from Richmond? Yeah, number one, limit the turnovers. No matter who wins that three-man battle at quarterback, it will be critical to take care of the ball. The Spiders ranked at the bottom of the conference with 18 interceptions and 27 total turnovers in just 11 games. It's nearly impossible to win with that many miscues. Number two, get the running game going. Richmond's leading rusher a year ago was its quarterback, Joe Mancuso, and the Spiders Spiders didn't have a running back with more than 225 yards. That should change this year as junior Xavier Goodall returns to the field after missing 2018 with that knee injury, and talented freshman Aaron Dykes gets a full season after averaging five yards per carry in the four contests he played. They will be helped by an offensive line that has four starters back. And number three, continue the defensive improvement. Richmond switched to a 4-3 scheme defensively in midseason, and it made a big difference with the Spiders holding three of their last four or last five foes to under 325 total yards. With a full offseason to work on it, the return of a potentially dominant defensive line and a much deeper and experienced secondary, Richmond should be improved on that side of the ball. The Spiders open their 2019 season at home versus Jacksonville on Thursday night, August the 29th at 7 p.m. You can watch this one live on Masson. Yeah, also check out cafootball.com and our social media pages as we cut up with this year's CA Preseason Defensive Player of the Year, Maurice Jackson. Rob and I will be back on Monday as we preview Stony Brook on our 12 Teams in 12 Days series as the Seawolves are fresh off a second consecutive postseason appearance. Enjoy the weekend.